Hi Judgers! Welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. Last time we were able to discuss the circle and the parabola. Those are the first two conic sections and for today we will discuss the third type of conic sections which is an ellipse. So what is an ellipse? An ellipse is a locus of all points in the plane the sum of whose distances from two fixed points f and f prime is a constant. Sometimes your book will tell you that this is not f and f prime. Therefore, this becomes f1 and f2. Okay, so we have two types of ellipse. The first type is horizontal ellipse. So I call this major horizontal axis. The, the second type is the vertical ellipse i'll call i'll call this the major vertical axis so what is the difference between the first one and the second one so for the first one therefore um it is changing the value of x this becomes x squared over a squared okay so for this one since it is for the y value, therefore, this becomes y squared over a squared. So, let's talk about the formula later. But for now, let us first discuss the parts of an ellipse. So, based from the definition of an ellipse, it's stated here that the locus of all points in the plane, the sum of whose distances from two fixed points, f and f prime, is a constant. So, for this ellipse, this is the center of the ellipse. Okay. The center is located at H and K. Okay, after that, we'll now be calling the foci. Okay, since there are F and F prime, we call that focus for the parabola. But since they are two, we will be calling this as foci, foci, foci. So we can say it as those terms as foci foci or foci so it differs from one book to another so we have f1 and f2 since this is a closed figure so its opening is just like this one so this is our foci for example our center is located at the origin okay so this is f1 or f so this is f2 okay we can also call this as f, prime, f and f prime. So for this one, so let's say this is negative c and 0. For this one, let's call this as c and 0. Why? Because the distance from the center going to one of the foci is c. This is c. Okay? So the endpoints of the ellipse, this is the major axis. We call that major horizontal axis. We call this vertices. Okay. We'll be calling that as vertices. The vertices is located in the major axis. Remember that vertices are located in the plane of the major axis. So, this is a major horizontal axis. Therefore, this is V and v prime or we can also call this as v1 and v2 okay so this is now negative a and zero and this is positive a and zero therefore what is the length of the vertices that will be 2a okay this length will become 2a because from the center going to one point of the vertices that is a, that is a, a plus a is 2a. So, what do we call to this one? Okay, we will be calling this as w and w prime. And what is w and w prime? We'll be calling that as co-vertices. And when we say co-vertices, we will be uh, saying there the minor axis. Minor axis. For the vertices, we'll be having there the major axis. Is that clear? Therefore, this is now 0 and B. And this is 0 and negative B. Okay? So, for this one, this is now the 
um, major vertical axis. For the major vertical axis, this is our center located at HK. At this point, this is located at the center. Okay. So, this is now our major axis. Therefore, we can say that this is V and this is V prime. Therefore, this is 0 and positive A. This is now 0 and negative A. Since this is vertical, the points of the, the vertices will interchange. For this one, we have here negative A and 0. Therefore, for this one, this becomes 0 and negative A. So, this is our focus. This is our foci. Okay, this is F and this is F prime. This is 0 and C. And this is 0 and negative C. We'll now be having the minor axis. We'll be calling this as W and W prime. For the W, since this is the X value, we'll be having this as B and 0. And for this one, we'll be having this as negative B, 0. Okay. So, let us look again at the definition of the ellipse. It is the locus of all points in the plane, the sum of whose distances from two fixed points f and f prime is a constant. This is f and f prime. Therefore, this and this one, the distances of this and this one is just equal to 2a. Remember that that constant will always be equal to 2a. Do not forget its definition. Locus of all points in the plane, the sum of whose distances from two fixed points, f and f prime, is a constant. And that constant is equal to 2a. Therefore, if we add this one, this distance, and this distance, it is just equal to 2a. What if I have here this one and this one? We also have those two points. Therefore, that is also 2a. What if we'll be having this one, this one, and this one? That is also 2a because those are points of the foci. This one and this one, 2a. 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 2a, 2a. 2a, 2a. So that is one major characteristic of an ellipse. So what do you think are the examples of an ellipse? Okay, a very good example of an ellipse are the orbits of the planet. The orbits of the planet are elliptical in shape. So, their orbit around an ellipse. So, that is one very good example or real-life situation of an ellipse. So, once again, this is major horizontal axis because ellipse, um, the focus and the vertices are located at the horizontal axis. This is major vertical axis since our ellipse is changing the y value. Okay, so that is for the definition of an ellipse. I hope you learned something from this video. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment to my video tutorials. And always remember that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless. Here are some characteristics of an ellipse. Since we have um, the variables a, b, and c, how do we solve for this one? Always remember that a is the largest. Remember that A is the largest. Therefore, it is the longest distance among the three quantities. Okay. Since A is the largest, we will now be having the triangle inequality. If we have the Pythagorean theorem, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, for ellipse, we'll now be calling this as triangle inequality. And since A is the largest, our formula would be C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. And we'll be letting A is greater than C, which is greater than 0. So this is now the formula for our triangle inequality in which we could get the values of A, B, and C. Okay, another um, characteristics of an ellipse is that A is always the largest among the three quantities. Again, A is the largest among the three quantities. Therefore, this is the formula. Next one is that the distance between the two foci is 2C. The distance between two foci is always equal to 
2c. When you are asked, what is the distance between two foci? Therefore, that is just 2c. Okay, next one. The segment VV prime, VV prime is called the major axis. If it is located at the horizontal axis, we'll be calling that as the major horizontal axis. And if it is located in the vertical axis, we'll be calling that as major vertical axis. And the length of the major axis is always 2a. Once again, the length of the major axis is always 2a. The length of the foci is always 2c. Next one. Therefore, what is the length of the minor axis? The length of the minor axis will always be 2b. What if you're asked semi? Okay, what if you're asked semi major axis? What is the length of the semi major axis? Therefore, that is just half of the major axis, and that is just a. What if we are asked to get the length of the semi minor axis? Therefore, what is the length of the semi minor axis? That would be b. Okay, so those are the characteristics of an ellipse. I hope you've learned something from this tutorial. Once again, I am Engineer Jad Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.